U-137's diesel engines hammer away as the small Type 2 U-boat makes a run for the eastern entrance to Scapa Flow. Chaos has erupted in the harbor as five torpedoes have struck two Royal Navy capital ships, sending both of them to the bottom of the anchorage. Now, U-137 is trying to escape as destroyers in the anchorage are being mobilized to find the U-boat that caused all this damage. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back aboard U-137 as we continue our patrol in U-Boat. U-137 was just able to torpedo two British capital ships in Scapa Flow, one aircraft carrier and one Nelson class battleship. We are now moving at a speed of 13 knots heading for the Eastern Passage. There is a warship that is patrolling for us. However, I don't think they have a real good idea of exactly where we are. She is turning around back there. We are just racing on the surface. This is the benefit of being in a Type 2. We have such a small silhouette that we are going to be rather difficult to actually spot. I'm not picking up any other warships out there. The Scapa Flow defenses were certainly lacking. There is HMS Nelson there. Wow, we are leaving that burning wreckage behind us. No more flares are being popped up. We haven't been shot at by any coastal batteries. I think we are in the clear. We are departing the Eastern Passage at 1.53 in the morning here. We have about 12 kilometers to go before we are out of here. Now, one thing I could do, I could go to Willemshaven or something and rearm and then make our journey through the English Channel. Let's do that because that actually sounds like a good amount of fun. Head towards Willemshaven, grab some torpedoes, make our dash through the English Channel and head back all the way home. I would like to have some torpedoes and be able to sink a few more ships before we are done here. We still need to escape though. Let's check these radio messages. Okay, we're getting radio messages from Scapa Flow. We just got our mission completed objective here. There we go. Okay, that was relatively easy actually escaping Scapa Flow. I do wonder if we were completely detected. We can start unassigning some of these crewmen. Secure the alarm. There we go. Good job, boys. We are not going to click this to RTB. Take a look at the journal here. Um, okay, got it. Nothing, nothing mentioned. I guess we will find out if we were successful in remaining undetected upon returning to port. I don't think they really had a good idea of where U-137 was. Anyway, we're going to head to Willemshaven and then transit the English Channel. We have arrived at Wilhelmshaven after a rather short journey across the North Sea. The crew is doing okay, all things considered, and what a beautiful port this is. This is probably one of my favorite ports in the game. Just the way it's laid out is phenomenal. It has tons of detail. I mean, look at how big the city is back here. Really cool stuff. We are going to use some time compression and get into this berth here. And hopefully we'll be able to refuel and rearm just fine there we go and the game will save as it tends to here we go okay let's go to the warehouse real quick what do i need let me see your resupply menu okay what we need is probably some more food let me do some management here in the galley open this bad boy up come here Let's take a let's take a look. Galley. Yeah, start moving some of this stuff into the galley and we will fill the boat up with more food and supply. But first things first, I mean what you've got. Let's load up with torpedoes. Torpedoes, what do you have? We're going to take quite a few G7A torpedoes as they are slightly more reliable. We'll take one G7E at this point. Fuel, refuel the boat. Also, items here. Oh, you guys have a good amount of stuff. Well, let's grab some more coffee. I have a diving suit, which could prove to be interesting. And also, demolition charges. I do not need these at this point. We could get a K-98, but eh, no need for that, really. 
Okay, I think we're doing a-okay. Let's buy some more parts, a little bit of lubricant, and we're good on supply. Perfect. Willem Chauvin has quite a bit of supply compared to La Rochelle. Doesn't look like I can do anything else. We can go and go over to the recruitment area. Yeah, you guys have nobody good. All right, uninterested. See you later. All right, we're off duty for one day. We are going to resupply and then get underway. It is now November 29th, 1940. U-137 is departing Wilhelmshaven, heading to her home port of La Rochelle. We have received a radio message. U-boat reported a possible target within our range. Let's take a look. Square AN-766. They are heading south, which it should be heading for us. Currently performing surface repairs, won't be able to intercept. Okay. They're moving slow as well. AN-766. Uh, 769, 766, moving south. We are certainly going to move to intercept those targets. Okay, heading south. They are, let's see, 139 some oh, kilometers sexy. away. Let's move up all ahead full. Let's go get it. We are at the mouth of the English Channel here. I decided that just infiltrating Scapa Flow was not uh, dangerous enough for us, so we are going to transit the English Channel, which is incredibly risky, but still should be a good amount of fun. I will move up uh, maybe 40 kilometers or so and do a hydrophone check. We'll dive at 0200, I think. U-137 has submerged and we are doing a hydrophone check. We have picked up a lot of contacts in the area. We have ship propellers over here, 50 kilometers away. And I think this is the contact we were tracking, bearing 05 degrees, one unit closing in. It looks like they are hugging the coast. So we are going to move towards the coast and see what this is. We also have some other ships closing in and a few other contacts moving away down to the southwest. We're going to move up and investigate these here, though. Let's surface the boat. Surface. All ahead, flank. All ahead, flank. Get the boat up. And you, my friend, Herbert, go do your thing. We'll unassign the sailor. Let's check on the torpedoes while I'm at it. Mir, begin uh, maintaining all of these eels, please. And I'm going to assign additional crewmen onto the bridge. We should be spotting whatever these contacts are relatively soon. Hopefully, they are not warships. We have spotted the target and we're moving in. Let's take a look at her. Also, there's a town right there. Uh-oh, that's not good. Aha, hello there. French. Let's lock onto her. Let's move and try to board this ship. Looks like she is taking water in the stern already. Okay, it is identified as hostile. I would just like to board it in the middle of the night. Hopefully they don't blast off a radio message. We are doing this right off the coast. Which I'm sure uh, is going to go over real well. Let's move in. She's trying to turn away from us. Can't have that happen. In shallow waters. Okay, moving too fast. Come to a stop. I want to board. I would like to board that vessel. I'll stop. Alright, let's interact. Freighter is unarmed and is not escorted. Communicate that we intend to sink the ship. And the crew is now abandoning ship. There we go. Get off. We are going to send a team to the freighter. And you, Bruning, you have the ship engineer skill. And let's also send a runner. Yeah, maybe maybe the runner. Yeah, I'll send you over. Additional sailors, four of them. All right, get over there and scuttle the ship. Crews aboard the freighter. We're going to send them to the engine room and we are going to scuttle without using explosives. There we go. That ship is going down and it broke in half somehow, but we're clear to get the heck out of here. All ahead standard. Let's turn away now. We're a little too close to the coast for my comfort. I don't want the RAF showing up at this point. I'm not going to investigate the wreckage or anything. 
I was thinking sinking ships here would contribute to the happy times, but I don't think that's the case. I think we need an actual mission to do that. Regardless, sinking ships will get us more renown or budget. So that certainly helps. Let's continue on our journey and get the heck out of here. Well, things are going relatively smoothly as we try to get out of the English Channel. We've already traversed about half of the distance here. Let's do a quick hydrophone check. No aircraft have been spotted and no ships have actually been spotted. We've picked up a handful of hydrophone contacts, but I'm trying to avoid them because when we attack something in here, there's a good chance that a swarm of angry Royal Navy vessels will be sent our way. U-137 is going to dive down once again. Let's check our depth under keel, please and thank you. Let's do a proper ping here. And let's unassign some sailors from Wolfgang. Depth under keel is 53 meters. I wanted to unassign those sailors from Wolfgang because one of them was on the observation scope. I do not want anyone on that scope at the moment. Okay, down we drop. Reduce speed. All head slow. And what do you hear, Herbert? Let's see if he's going to pick anything up out here. Okay, propellers detected. Moving away, medium speed. Could be interesting to try to intercept. I may do that. What's their heading? Bearing at 3402 to 5 units. I may swing by and see what's going on there. That's all we're picking up. Not a whole lot of traffic at the moment. Okay, in that case, we'll come back up to the surface and maybe track these guys down. If we see them, we see them. If not, uh, I'm not too worried about it. Our primary objective at this point is getting home after quite a successful patrol. We've made contact, warships, bearing 106 degrees. Aha, hello, ooh. That warship looks like it's moving quite quickly. And it's running parallel to us. Turn south. We can invade on the surface, we are going to try to do that. We are faster on the surface. Hopefully we can avoid detection. The problem is, that warship, what, an E or F class? She can easily outrun us and catch up to us. Let's see, anything else out here? It looks like it's just a single warship out and about. The seas are quite choppy, which will help with evasion. Pretty shallow here as well. Give me a reading, depth under keel, please. 79 meters, and eh, it's not a whole lot. Okay, it turns out, all ahead flank. It looks like turning south has saved us. She is continuing on her course and does not seem bothered by us, which is good. Okay, let's hug the French coast and continue on our way. U-137 has broken out of the English Channel. Everything is hunky-dory on board, but we do have a alert here. We need to talk to this guy. Felix Schmidt, passionately criticizing some of my recent tactical choices been voicing these concerns in private. His frustration is clearly building. He started to be far too emotional about it. Will you address this behavior? Yeah, you criticize me, big guy? Court Marshal. See you later. Get off my boat, Felix. Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> that was an easy decision. Uh, let's pump some water out of the bilge. What, what tactical decisions could he possibly be criticizing? I I make no such tactical errors. Okay, we are heading to La Rochelle. We should be there and on the 7th, it looks like. Just in a couple of days at our current speed. We have an aircraft spotted right above us in the Bay of Biscay. We are incredibly close to La Rochelle. I have no idea what it's doing. We are going to man the flat gun, increase speed to flank. Two aircraft. Okay. Interesting. All right, buddy. You're going to fire at will if you are able to engage. It looks like two high flying airplanes here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, a whole flight of them. 
I may be doing a little raid. Yep, they're just flying on by. Okay, well, that was interesting. Yeah, you can cancel the alarm. You can go do whatever you'd like. Didn't really get a chance to shoot at them. We are closing in on La Rochelle. We're almost there. U-137 has arrived. Felix Schmidt has been arrested. Good. Get off. Get out of here. See you later, buddy. Let's talk to our leading officer. He's over here. Oh, you better be deeply impressed. Felix Schmidt was not, so I'm glad you are. All right, Wolfgang has received a nice cross. He's also received a nice cross with oak leaves. There we go. We're working on the nice cross with oak leaves and swords. Wow, we are over halfway there at this point. Fantastic. Okay, to continue. The happy times. It looks like actually sinking that a ship did contribute to this, which is great. Scapa Flow. Mission completed. We got the Bullseye Award. Great job, Skipper. Your mission to infiltrate Scapa Flow and sink the recognizable Royal Navy ship was a huge success. Your stealth and cunning as a U-boat captain allowed you to slip past the heavily defended base and launch a devastating attack, sinking the mighty HMS Nelson. The signal you sent with your successful strike has no doubt sent shockwaves throughout the Royal Navy. I can imagine. Okay, fantastic. Well done. And then we destroyed a freighter over there. We destroyed a freighter there. Awesome. We've received an engineer, which is great. And you can see the two ships we managed to sink. Total tonnage, 8,000 ton. That can't be right. They're only counting the freighters, not the uh, capital ships we managed to destroy here. Okay, continue. And there we go. Crew specialization points gained. We can open this up and uh, go to crew specializations. I've been doing diving at this point, just one. So let's assign another crew to the diving specialization. Now, with each sailor with the specialization, speeds up the diving process. So hopefully that will help uh, U-137 dive a little quicker. Let's see here. We have nine reputation. We are starting to really, really build that up. Let's talk to you. Show me their files. We need a new sailor since a couple of them have, uh, have left <laughs> by uh, being arrested. Let's choose the crew for the next assignment. Okay, we're loaded up. We do need to get you, Johannes, on board. So I need to go to our leading officer and ask for a crew expansion. We also have Fritz. The hell are you? Oh, this is our guy we saved. Okay, cool. We picked him up in uh, Vigo. Goodbye. All right, talk to our leading officer. Uh, purchase a few favors. Specialization 2. Now we have seven crewmen. Cool. Additional mission choices. Not really interested in any of that. Any orders from the Admiralty? What do you got? Let's see. Enigma recovery. This could be an interesting mission. A matter of survival skill. Okay. I This could be fun to do, doing some of these more specialized missions. I don't think I've actually ever done this. Uh, recently, whenever I first originally tried to do it when it was added a long time ago, uh, the mission was bugged for me. That, or we can continue this, patrol grid, AM4 and AM5. We get the daredevil skill. We should be able to complete the happy times. I think I'm going to do this next time. We'll do enigma recovery later. Select. Awesome. We're already loaded up with torpedoes. We are doing very, very good for ourselves. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.